Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Erudispace. I am Dr. Swamendrasan Mohanty, and today we will discuss about the four stroke compression ignition engine. Already we have discussed in detail the four stroke spark ignition engine as well as two stroke spark ignition engine. In today's lecture, I will tell you why we call it a four stroke compression ignition engine. Then I will give you a brief idea about the different engine components and then I will explain how the engine actually operates and then I will compare the four stroke compression ignition engine with four stroke spark ignition engine. So first we call it a four stroke compression ignition engine because there are four working strokes in a cycle and the ignition of the charge is due to compression. That's why we call it four stroke compression ignition engine. Coming to the engine components, we have discussed in detail the engine components while discussing the four stroke spark ignition engine. More or less the components are same but there are certain other components which are added in case of four stroke CI engine and some components are removed. The components which are added are your fuel injector, your fuel feed pump in case of the compression ignition engine and the carburetor is removed in case of compression ignition engine which is an integral part of spark ignition engine. So some of the components of the compression ignition engine are shown here. Some of them have not been shown but I will discuss most of the important components in details. So you do have an inlet valve. Through the inlet valve actually the air is drawn into the engine cylinder. You do have an exhaust valve and through the adjust valve, the burnt air fuel mixture which is incapable to produce any more power is removed from the system. You do have a fuel injector which actually injects the fuel at the end of the compression stroke. You do have a fuel feed pump which has not been shown which is used to feed high pressure fuel into the engine cylinder. Then you do have the engine cylinder, this is the cylinder head and this is the piston which reciprocates inside the engine cylinder. You do have a piston pin or gurgian pin which connects the piston with that of the crankshaft. This one is the connecting rod and this one is the crankshaft. The crankcase which actually houses the crankshaft has not been shown. Similarly, flywheel which works as an energy accumulator by storing the energy developed during the working stroke and supplying the same during the idle stroke has not shown in the figure. If you have any doubt, you can refer to my previous lecture on four stroke spark ignition engine to get a detailed knowledge about the different components because already I have told you with the exception of the fuel injector and fuel feed pump all the components are present in spark ignition engine. Of course you do have the carburetor which is present in spark ignition engine and is not present in compression ignition engine. Now I will discuss in detail the four strokes of compression ignition engine. The four strokes of compression ignition engine are your suction, compression, expansion and adjust. All of us should understand that these operations do take place in case of spark ignition engine also. But what are the differences between the two as far as the cycle of operation is concerned and the fundamental difference between both the 
spark ignition and compression ignition engine. So first we will discuss in detail about the different strokes. First one is your suction stroke. In the suction stroke the piston moves from top dead center position to bottom dead center position. As a result a vacuum is created and air is drawn into the engine cylinder as the inlet valve is opened. You should remember that during the suction stroke the exhaust valve is in closed position. The fundamental difference between the spark ignition engine and the compression ignition engine that in case of spark ignition engine you do have a mixture of air fuel drawn into the engine cylinder during the suction stroke whereas in case of your CI engine only air is drawn into the engine cylinder and the piston moves from TDC to BDC during the suction stroke. Next one is your compression stroke. In the compression stroke the piston moves from BDC to TDC and during the compression stroke both the inlet as well as the exhaust valves are in closed position and just before the compression process is over the fuel injector actually injects fuel into the engine cylinder and for that we do employ a fuel feed pump and the pressure at which the fuel is injected is higher than the pressure present inside the engine cylinder otherwise the fuel particles will not enter the engine cylinder and another thing that you should remember that the compression ratio which is the ratio between the total cylinder volume to the clearance volume this one is the total cylinder volume and this one is the clearance volume is kept much higher compared to that of spark ignition engine. So what is the reason for that? Because in case of your spark ignition engine the compression raises the pressure and temperature of the air fuel mixture but you do have a spark plug which is used to ignite the air fuel mixture but in case of compression ignition engine as the name suggests the heat of compression should be sufficient to ignite the air fuel mixture. So we deliberately keep a higher compression ratio so that when the fuel comes in contact with air at very high pressure immediately ignition takes place. The next one is your expansion stroke. During the expansion stroke also the inlet as well as the exhaust valves are in closed position. The piston moves from TDC to BDC. Due to the combustion of the air fuel mixture huge amount of thermal and pressure energy is developed that actually pushes the piston to move from TDC to BDC. The entire power is developed during the expansion stroke. We do call it a power stroke and working stroke also because the entire power is developed during the expansion stroke. The last one is your exhaust stroke. In exhaust stroke the piston moves from BDC to TDC and during the exhaust process the inlet valve is closed but the exhaust valve is opened and the burnt air fuel mixture which is incapable of producing any more power is adjusted to the surrounding. Another thing that I would like to tell you that when it comes to the starting of any engine be it your SI engine or CI engine first some amount of power must be given to the system so that the piston reciprocates inside the engine cylinder and once you do have sufficient amount of working substance inside the engine cylinder and the combustion of the air fuel mixture takes place inside the engine cylinder it becomes self-sufficient. Then 
will compare the spark ignition engine with that of compression ignition engine. The first one is the cycle of operation. We will discuss in detail with PV and TS diagram the auto cycle and diesel cycle in a separate lecture. But one thing that you should remember that the thermodynamic processes carried out in case of auto cycle are isentropic compression followed by constant volume heat addition followed by isentropic expansion followed by constant volume heat rejection. Out of these four processes, three processes are repeated when it comes to your compression ignition engine. Only the second process which is a constant volume heat addition in case of your auto cycle is actually substituted by a constant pressure heat addition process when it comes to your diesel cycle. Next one is induction of air and fuel. In case of your spark ignition engine, air fuel mixture is done into the engine cylinder during the suction stroke. To mix up the air and fuel, we do have a component which is known as a carburetor. Carburetor prepares the air fuel mixture as per requirement. But when it comes to your compression ignition engine, only air is admitted during the suction stroke and fuel is injected into the system at the end of the compression stroke. The ignition of spark ignition engine is due to sparking. I have already told you that compressing the air fuel mixture inside the engine cylinder in case of spark ignition engine it raises its pressure and temperature but it is not sufficient to ignite the air fuel mixture. For that we do use a spark plug and the type of ignition is spark ignition. When it comes to your CI engine or compression ignition engine in, in that case the ignition is self ignition. Deliberately we give the compression ratio is higher than that is maintained in case of spark ignition engine. As a result, the heat of compression is sufficient to ignite the air fuel mixture. Compression ratio is in the range of 6 to 10 when it comes to spark ignition engine and it is 16 to 20 in case of compression ignition engine. Already I have told you that in case of spark ignition engine, you do have a spark plug which gives the electric spark to ignite the air fuel mixture. But in this case, the heat of compression should be sufficient to ignite the air fuel mixture. So for that reason, the compression ratio is deliberately kept higher than what is maintained in case of spark ignition engines. The spark ignition engines are usually high speed engines whereas the compression ignition engines are comparatively low speed engines. The thermal efficiency of the auto cycle is lower compared to that of diesel cycle. As far as the efficiency is concerned, compression issue plays a very important role in determining the thermal efficiency and more the compression ratio, higher will be the thermal efficiency. Once you know the expression for thermal efficiency of auto cycle and diesel cycle, your concept about thermal efficiency would be more and more clear. But for the time being, remember that as the compression ratio is higher in case of diesel engine compared to that of your petrol engine, the thermal efficiency is higher in case of diesel engine. And you should remember that compression ignition engines are invariably your diesel engines. So you should not get confused when I am saying diesel engine for compression ignition engine or vice versa. The spark ignition engines are lighter in wet compared to 
the compression ignition engines. What is the reason for this? One of the major reasons for this is that the compression ratio is much lower in case of spark ignition engine compared to that of compression ignition engine. So, as it has to withstand comparatively lower pressure, it can be of lighter weight. Whereas, as the compression ignition engine has to withstand very high pressure, it has to be more robust. Then, starting up spark ignition engine is easier compared to that of the compression ignition engine. One of the major reasons why the starting is easier because in that case the compression ratio is comparatively lower and the effort that is to be given to cause the reciprocation of the piston inside the engine cylinder will definitely be lower compared to the CI engine. So I sincerely believe that this lecture would be extremely useful to all of you. If you have any doubt about the engine nomenclature, you can refer to the earlier class taken by me on four stroke spark ignition engine. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like and comment on this. If you have any doubt, you can write the same so that I will try to address that particular question. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon.